Jeff Ferris on the Hot Homestead. Let's do the DC wiring to the RV in this video. Here's what we're going to do. Just as a refresher, 24 bank battery, 936 volt or 936 amps. We got one 24 volt set up there, one here, and then they're wired in parallel. Remember, series increases volts, parallel increases amps, right? Because SIV, S I V, series increase volts. PIA, parallel increase amps. That's how you can remember the stuff. That's how I remember it at least. So, but every battery only has one positive and one negative. So I made this one big battery. So right there's my positive, and across to the other side is my one negative. From this, I'll do negative first since I'm here. This negative has my has my charge controller coming in. This one here goes to the other bank there to make it parallel. This one here goes to the inverter. This one here is my 20, it's a six gauge wire, same with that one. These are four aughts. Six gauge wire coming through, and it's going through this hole here, and it's going over to that bus bar. The positive side is pretty much the same thing. This is coming in from the charge controller. This one here goes to make it parallel. This one here goes to the inverter. And then this one here is going to the bus bar. Now on this bus bar, what we have is the bottom one is our positive bus bar. So this wire right here is coming in from the batteries. This wire here is going out to the RV. This wire over here is going to my DC converter step down 24 to 12 for the shed. And on the top one I have it wired the same way. This is, comes in from the battery, goes to the RV, and goes to the shed. These bus bars, if you notice there's green screws on there and then there's some other silver looking screws. One person explained this to me. They said it's a bus bar because if you notice the green screw down there in the bottom that's your input screw so that's your driver the other five screws above it are your passengers therefore it's a bus bar I know it's kind of corny but kind of makes sense so that's why you wire it up that particular way so you got your main and then you know which ones are your uh, your others and that kind of helps keep it organized too so now let's take you out to the RV and I'll show you how it's connected to the RV it's going through this hole in the wall here. And so let's go look at the other side of that wall and then the RV. So here it's coming out of the wall. Now, I don't have any conduit on this just yet, but I will. This wire, critters will chew through this wire, so I need to, it's not made to be in the outdoors. So I need to cover that and I will. I'll put this uh, plastic conduit over it. But here it is coming out of my barn or out of my shed. And then I'll put it on the ground and I'll take it to the RV. So let's go over there now. So here we are at the RV part. Now, this is a mess, folks. So this is just a temporary setup, and I'll show you the way it's going to look later. But here's what I've got. I still have my RV batteries right there. They're still set up on the, um, the charge controller for the Harbor Freight, and those are still charging. And the main reason why I have this still working is because my solar batteries, I don't have the panels hooked up to start charging those, so I don't want to discharge them. I can't dig right now because my ground is half frozen and my rack for my solar panels isn't completed yet anyhow, so he's making it now for me. So. This, like I said, is a temporary setup. These batteries will not re stay here. They will only be used for like another month and that's it. But here's what I got. Now again, forgive kind of the way the setup is. It's, it's sloppy right now, but it will change. But just so you know, here's what I got right now. I have these two six gauge wires right here coming from that utility shed, from that bus bar. I then have them tied to this inverter or this controller right here. That's a step down. It's going from 24 down to 12. And if you watch my video, the components overview, I give you more information about that. 
Now from there, I have the black going up into here because the string was only so long. And then this black goes around and it connects up with, see how this shows up. The black goes into this box here and in this box, this one here goes to the batteries I'm currently using and the other one goes into the trailer. And I just use a regular bolt to hold them together. I put this in this box here to help keep it a little bit more waterproof. The red, however, red is a white one, so that's the positive. It goes in this box. Now this switch that I have here, I got this at, at the auto store. You can also get them at marine places. And what they are is they are battery selector switches. This one is just a kill switch. It's just on and off. They also make one that you can transfer from battery one to battery two and etc. But I got this so that I could turn my solar on or off. So right now my solar is off. So I control that this here will stay. The setup will be slightly different. But I want to be able to control the power from my solar coming in with the DC part. I want to be able to control that part. So I have two reds coming out. This red here goes to the RV. This red here is another six gauge wire. It goes into this box here. Now that's a different type of switch. Reason being, because in a small town like Sholo, well, you don't have many options and the auto place only had one of those and the other two auto place stores had that type. So I got that one there. Basically, this switch here turns it on and off. It's more of a kill switch, kind of help prevent auto theft. So, but it will work. And so I got the positive going in here and then that positive, my red is going into my batteries that I'm using now for the RV. So that's the setup that I have right now. What's gonna happen is this will go away, this will go away, these two will go away, those will go away and all I'll be left with is these wires coming in to the converter to my switch and right into the trailer so I'll do a box that will cover this and this and uh, make it a little bit neater when that time comes but right now this is a temporary setup but that's how I have my batteries currently set up to my RV so I got 24 volts coming from my solar batteries over to here That guy there is converting it to 12 That's my switch to turn it on and off the power and right now I have another set of batteries My original RV batteries and those are the ones I'm using right now Because I'm not charging my solar batteries yet. I got to still set that up when I do this will get cut off and I'll remove that half and just keep this half. These boxes that I'm using to help kind of waterproof everything a little bit, they're just four by four utility um, electrical boxes. The holes that are in there are holes that I drilled myself. And uh, the other one there I used for the grounds, those already had the holes in on the sides. But these are just basic utility boxes that you cut your own holes in. So. Um, I kind of like these and uh, they do make bigger ones and so I'm going to get like I said a bigger one to put this stuff here in when that time comes so but yeah those are the type of boxes I used. Jeff Arizona Hot Homestead don't forget to like subscribe share comment and I guess I'll see talk to you folks on the next video.